Hey guys, it's Hannah, and as you can tell, today I'm doing a vlog style video. I am hanging out with Joss today, and we are going to the bookstore. So I thought that I would just vlog my day and take you guys along with me and just explore some bookstores for the day because I've done a bookstore vlog before and it was a lot of fun for me to do, so I thought I'd do another one today. So I hope you guys enjoy watching this and coming around with us as we do some fun things. I'm actually running late right now and I need to be downstairs because Joss is already here, so I will We'll see you guys in a little bit. Covering the mic, am I? Probably. So oh, man, we, we like are. Run over my car. Wait, I haven't even like introduced you and said that you're in the vlog yet. I am with Joss. This is Joss. I'll Hi. leave her channel linked down below. She is I my fave. Um, go subscribe to her. <laughs> <laughs> She's my fave. Go subscribe to her. We're currently making our way to our second bookstore. You saw the first bookstore, and we. This car is rude. You saw the first bookstore, and um, we also went and got some Thai food, which was really good. It was really good. Yeah. It was very good, but not spicy enough. Not spicy enough. <laughs> and now we're gonna go to our second bookstore, so we'll take you along there as well. It's half price books, and she's never been to half price books before. So I've never been. First half price book. I'm really excited. It's gonna be great. All right, see you there. Bye. He looks like he's really suspicious of something. Or like seductive. It's like when the photographers like turn around and you're like... <laughs> Someone please explain to me what this cover is. It's baby oil on its face. <laughs> Probably. <laughs> A little bit later. <laughs> what are you laughing? I don't know. <laughs> so we just got back from Half Price Books and we wanted to do like a mini book haul. Well, not really mini. I got like seven books. I got four. 
Yeah. She so. hers is kind of mini. Mine's, Mine's kind a little mini. bit excessive. <laughs> we set a budget. Yeah, we set a budget. Good. Stuck to the budget. It's good adulting. Yeah, I was. We were gonna go to three bookstores actually, but we ended up only going to the two because we got real tired. So we spent a long time in half price books. And walked a mile back home with our books. Yeah. <laughs> Uphill, no shoes. Now we just wanted to film like a little book haul and show you guys the books that we got. I have this giant bag of books that's really heavy. I have a tiny little pile, but there are four <laughs> books in here, I promise. There are four books. We're just gonna go through these and share them with you guys. The first one I have here, I actually got from a bookstore that we went to today, but I got it last time I went to the bookstore, but I just wanted to show it in this video because I'm not gonna mention it in another haul. This is Where'd You Go Bernadette by Maria Semple. I honestly don't really know what this book is about. I bought it because one of my best friends really, really loves this book and he constantly recommends it to me. And also because uh, Jane on Jane the Virgin read this book and she recommends it on oh, that show. She really? Yeah, she does. Whoa. There's an episode where she like, like bumps into this like book club and they're reading this book and she's like it's such a good book i loved that book by the way and then like runs out of the house oh my God. <laughs> yeah so ever since she did that i've been wanting to read this so they had I a copy <laughs> yeah <laughs> that's such a original i don't remember that so they had a copy there and it was used and really cheap so i got myself one this is like blocking my face i'm gonna put it behind me. okay okay we're um, good we're not hot mess anymore <laughs> that's a lie we're hot mess still Always a hot Always mess. Always a hot mess. The next book that I got is Gretel and the Dark by Eliza, what's her last name? Grant Granville. Eliza Granville. And I got this based off Joss's recommendation because you read it earlier this yeah, year. Yeah, it was good. You? I did. Yeah, and she says that it's very, very good. And I've been wanting some like historical fiction kind of like action-packed stories. And um, this one is set in Vienna in 1899. And it follows a psychoanalyst. Yeah, so the dad is a psychoanalyst, mm -hmm. and then we flash forward, and then there's a girl, and she, it's all about like imagination and like defeating evil, and it's kind of like dark and creepy, and it's, it's like really cool. Fairy tales in like Nazi Germany. Yeah, it's really and cool. And it sounds really, really good, and I'm very excited to read this one. So Hannah found me a copy, an autographed copy of my favorite book in the whole world. It says, okay, there's an autographed coffee sticker right there, and Hannah found it. If she wasn't for her, I would have never have found it. But this is Jane Steele by Lindsay Fay. Hannah brought a copy too, right there. <laughs> my, phone, my phone is sitting on it. <laughs> yeah, it's, it's Jane Steele. And basically what this is, is it's not really a retelling of Jane Eyre, but there are elements of Jane Eyre in this story. So our protagonist is Jane Steele, and she is obsessed with the book Jane Eyre. She loves it. So some of the parallels between Jane Steele and Jane Eyre are that Jane Steele falls under the care of her aunt, and then the aunt sends her off to boarding school and she becomes like a lady's maid for a different household but it is very much its own story so Jane Steele there were some really terrible crimes committed against her some really terrible assaults at the beginning of the book by a man and she ends up killing one of the men at the very beginning of the book and throughout the book she ends up killing these men but only men who commit violent or sexual crimes against women so she is kind of like a vigilante killer like a serial killer like a serial killer <laughs> but so it's really cool because it's like super angsty and she is like really like torn up about the fact that she's killing people and there's like a love story and we learn more about like the Anglo-Sikh war so there are some Indian characters in this book and there's mystery it's just really good you should read it so excited <laughs> read this book okay. it's one of the next ones I'm gonna read the next book that I got is called Tender Morsels by Margot Lanigan Lanigan. Sure. Yeah, the font is a sure. little bit funny. <laughs> um, and I got this because Joss picked it off of the shelf. But like, this cover is so pretty. <laughs> Genuinely don't know what it's about. So the back says that it's an inspired like reworking of the fairy tale of Snow White and Rose Red with like more magic and whimsy and whatever in there. I have no idea. I don't really like knowing a lot about magical books as you guys know before I go into reading them because I really like being surprised. But I really have been wanting some more magical books and this one sounds right up my alley. And it's just like so pretty. It's really cute. Yeah, and it was really, really cheap. So I'm really excited to read this. The next book is another book that Joss recommended to me. Basically, this bookstore adventure <laughs> was Joss being like, Hannah, read these Hannah books. Read and I was like, book. okay. <laughs> so the next one here is called Pretty Monsters by Kelly Link. And this is actually a like novella, like a collection of short stories. Is that a novella and a collection of short stories the same thing? No, a novella is like a short book. 
A short like book. Little oh. Book. Like Every Heart a Doorway. Oh, right, right. Okay. It's a collection of short stories. <laughs> different than a novella. But it's a collection of short stories about like different fairy tales and like monsters and things like that. So it's like magical mixed in with monsters. And Joss says that it's very good. Yeah. Kelly she, Link is really good for, for short stories like that. And she said that I would really like it because, I mean, those all seem like things that I would really like. And... It's going to be close to Halloween soon, so I think reading oh, something... Yeah, yeah. It's like a perfect Halloween Yeah, exactly. Book. I think reading something like this will be really fun around that time, so I'm definitely excited to pick them That's up and, like, the perfect Halloween yeah, book. read some of these stories around then. So the next thing that I have is another collection of short stories. This one is called Blood and Soap by Lin Din. He is a Vietnamese author who was born in Vietnam, and one of these stories in here is about a Vietnamese boy and he's trying to teach himself English and he learns about how language is a universal thing. And then there's another story about a man who opens a newspaper and he sees the photograph of a man that he might have murdered and doing so he unwittingly has sealed his crime. So that I think sounds that sounds so really good. Cool. That sounds really <laughs> that sounds really good. The next book that I got is one that I've been wanting for a really long time and it's More Than This by Patrick Ness. Patrick Ness is an author that I really really like. I've read uh, A Monster Calls and I really want to read the Chaos Walking trilogy by him and I also have The Rest of Us Just Live Here by him as well which is another one that I've been really wanting to read. More Than This is one that I've heard like a lot about but like a while ago so I genuinely don't remember too much about what the actual story is about. I'm pretty sure it's about a boy and in some sort of magical or whimsical way he's like kind of discovering or exploring his sexuality but I've heard really good things about it and I'm just really intrigued by it in general it also has a really pretty cover and I just like can't wait to pick this one up and it was really cheap. Yeah, it was really cheap. <laughs> so. it, was really, it, was, it was a good deal. <laughs> yeah. This next one I'm so excited about because we it's both so like, pretty. you found it, didn't you? Yeah, you found it on the shelf. And you're like, yeah, you did. You were like, this is so pretty. And I was like, shiny things. <laughs> <laughs> so then I was like, I need to see this. All the and then I read the summary and it looked so good. It's so pretty. Mm -hmm. I can't. It's called so uh, a... Excuse Rude. me, sir. <laughs> it's called She Rises by Kate Worsley, and basically it's a historical fiction novel that is set in 1740, and we follow around this girl who ends up becoming like the maid for this captain's daughter, who is then her mistress, and it follows their relationships, and then it also follows another like parallel story of this boy who is a sailor, and it's a historical fiction novel, and I'm assuming it's kind of like if you've read all the light we cannot see where we have like two parallel stories of two different characters as they go through their own experiences and then their stories converge eventually i really like stories like that and i've really been in the mood for like more historical fiction and this sounds like it's going to be super super good also it's just so, it's pretty. so pretty like it's okay. shiny and gold it has like gold foil and oh. i just I'm so excited to read this. So the next book that I got is also a really, really aesthetic book, but a different aesthetic than the book that you got. This is called In Case of Emergency by Courtney Moreno. And I think this is like a heart and some blood vessels going on here. And then the end pages are some more blood vessels and the back end pages are like that as well. It's just so cute. But this is about a woman named Piper and she is like a rookie EMT. So she has just become an EMT and she finds, I think this man like bleeding out or something. And he is her like first case or one of her first cases. And he ends up like changing her life. And this follows how she copes with finding so many people in such like a critical state of emergency and it deals with how she deals with their trauma and how she can absorb other people's trauma and it's really cool because this author actually got her bachelor's degree at UC Berkeley and then she got her MFA at the University of San Francisco she's local a bay area lady yeah <laughs> <laughs> All right, the next book that I got was one of the first ones we saw when we like walked into the You grabbed that I book. I grabbed it. <laughs> grabbed this book so fast. <laughs> it's so pretty. I have a thing for pretty covers. It's really bad, but it is The Kingdom of Little Wounds by Susanna Kokel. Is that how you say that? Kokel. Kokel. Sure. I think so. Sure. I picked it up because it's beautiful and it has red pages. So pretty. And then I opened it and it has maroon. beautiful maroon oh, end pages. And then there are like 
just these beautiful picture things in here. I don't even know what they are. These designs are just gorgeous. And I was just like looking at the aesthetic of this book and I was like, this is beautiful. Like I need this. And then I read a little bit of the inside flap and it's basically like a fantasy about a Scandinavian princess. And I like don't need to know anymore. <laughs> like that's enough for me. I've really been wanting some more fantasy, especially like in the fall winter time. I love reading fantasy and magical books. And I just want something totally new something I've never heard of and this is definitely that so I cannot wait to read this one and hopefully it's really good. I also don't know if this is part of a series. I know it's like not like a second book or something it's like a first one but I don't know if there are We more. were not thinking that far. No. <laughs> we were not thinking it's, that far. It's fine. I'm still excited to read it. So I'll show you guys my fourth and last book I guess and this is a book that I have read. So this is The Three Body Problem and I wanted a copy of this because it's amazing. It's the first in a series by Si Xin Liu and it's translated by Ken Liu. So this takes place in China during the Cultural Revolution and it starts during the Cultural Revolution where some people are being prosecuted for having ideas and thoughts that were like going against the government and what the government wanted at that time. Some of these people were physicists and really well-studied scientists and stuff. And so this one girl who is our protagonist after we flash forward a little bit after those people are being prosecuted, those people were her parents that were being like silenced and oppressed during the Cultural Revolution. And she is a physicist and she makes it like her mission to do all this good like sciencey stuff. And then we get a little bit more more into the science fiction part of it. So this is kind of like a mashup between historical fiction and science fiction. It's cool. Which is really awesome. Yeah. And I think it's really cool because it is set in China and we don't get a lot of like sci-fi that is set in a country that's not yeah. in the States and also not like in outer space. So mm -hmm. I think this is really awesome. And the very last book so that funny. I got is one that I'm so happy to have because I have been wanting to read this book for so long. It's another fantasy book. This time it's the first book in a series and is The Queen of the Tearling by Erica Johansson, which is in the beautiful hardcover with the gorgeous spine and the red ribbon bookmark and, and the beautiful the end, end pages. pages. I feel like all of these books, I'm just talking about how they look, but like the aesthetic of a book matters to me, okay? It does. <laughs> do you know what this book is actually I, I really about? don't. Sorry. Neither do I. <laughs> um, but basically I just know that it's another fantasy book that I think is about like a princess but I know that it's very like politics heavy it's not really like romance based or anything but it is YA isn't it I don't know I think it's one of those ones that's like uprooted okay, that's yeah. kind of yeah why like kind, kind of, of like transitional like between yeah. yeah crossover between the two I'm still really excited mm -hmm. to read it I've only heard good things about this series and I think it's a trilogy and I think it's concluded now but I'm really 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 looking forward to reading this one again just some more really fantasy cute. some more like princesses and politics and just all the good things. So I can't wait to pick this one up and all of these other ones. So many good books. So many good books. So many We're good books. We're so happy. <laughs> Such a good book shopping and book hauling day. It was great. Yeah. It's good food. Yes, good, good books. food. Yeah, we had that really good Thai food. Really which I'm like gonna go there all the time now. <laughs> curry like, and pineapple fried yes, rice. Yes, pineapple fried rice is my babe. That's pretty much it for this little mini vlog slash book haul. I hope you guys enjoyed watching this. Thank you to Joss for Yay! spending time with me and going to the bookstore with me since I have no friends. You're <laughs> and, trapped with me. Yeah, I, that's, that's not a problem. <laughs> <laughs> so yeah, I hope you guys enjoyed watching this. If you guys would like to see more like fun bookstore vlogs, definitely let me know. We only went to two today. There are plenty more around here that we, we want to go to go yeah to. so there are a lot more we want to go to and explore so I'll definitely be doing some more bookstore vlogs like this they're mostly like montages but you know it's fun you still yeah. get to like kind of come to the bookstore with me so we say that we're vlogging and then we end up forgetting and they're just montages with music basically <laughs> it's basically just it. YouTube things <laughs> I mentioned this earlier, but don't forget to go and follow Joss on her YouTube channel and all of her social media will all be linked in the description box. And if you'd like to follow me on any of my social media, as always, my links are in the description box. But thank you all so much for watching this video. I hope you enjoyed and I will see you in my next video. Bye! Bye.